Okay. So I'm Brittany. What are we doing today? I tell you what we're doing today. We're gonna drink like a mobster. Yeah. I was in Chicago recently and um, found this book. This is the Bible. Ew! How do you do a mobster accent? All right, so here's the deal. Been reading up a lot about prohibition lately. Hey, that's crazy, by the way. I want to read you this little piece of history. Rules for drinking cocktails like a mobster. Do not talk in a loud tone. Speak easy. Enjoy your drink and enjoy your company, but don't draw attention to yourself or the establishment by being too loud. But isn't that the antithesis of being drunk? You want to just like scream and cry and vomit everywhere? Also, hey guys, it's raining. Flash flood warning in LA. What do you want me to do about it? I got my guys on it. You know, take them to the train, train station. Okay, so I'm gonna make some um, mobster cocktails today. A lot of these were made during Prohibition and they were absolute specialty delicacies, only affordable by the super rich or the mafia bosses. So we have some Italian, genuine Italian liquor. This was like relatively cheap and that's a lot of liquor. It falls. So it's brandy. Frick, I didn't realize that. So let me walk you through uh, the ingredients that we have here today. I have picked out a few of the cocktails that I wanted to try here. And these are the ingredients we got. Tuaca, Kahlua, coffee liqueur, Amaretto, because we're Italian, don't like me. Tito's. Ginger beer. Now this was, I wanted to make a dark and stormy. If anyone knows what that is, a uh, dark and stormy Jenner Scott. They were out, you have to do it with goslings. Black rum. They didn't have black rum, they just had ginger beer, so. You win some, you lose most, okay? Moving over here, the cherries, the pineapple juice, a Pepsi, orange juice, Cointreau, sweetened lime juice, and my shake. So let's like get into it because honestly, I'm using this as an excuse to pregame for a party I have to go to today in about mm, two hours. So let's go for it. Where's my, where's my bookmark? Let's go for something silly and crazy. This one is called the Paralyzer. <laughs> Here's the uh, backdrop for it. The 1994 film Pulp Fiction was a landmark movie. Quentin Tarantino scored an Oscar, da, 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 who cares? So here's the recipe for the paralyzer. <laughs> also, I feel the need to say, I watch Peaky Blinders, so I know all about this. Broski Nation, we just introduced a new organized crime division. If anyone would like to join my mafia, <laughs> we're gonna smuggle, um... okay, we're in the market for something to smuggle. <laughs> Any recommendations on any illicit or illegal goods, um, definitely hit my line, leave it in the comments below. Paralyzer, one ounce vodka, one ounce coffee liqueur, two ounces milk or cream, scratch that out, four ounces of cola, ice, and a cocktail cherry. Cute. Add ice to a highball glass. Just remembered I don't know what a highball glass is. I think it's this. Yeah, I do the dishes. I'm a housewife. Okay, add ice to a highball glass. Okay, look at how gorgeous this mixing spoon is. I want to like put it on a shelf. Let's let's get into it, team. No more messing around. Add vodka, one ounce. One ounce. One ounce of coffee flavored liqueur. Ooh, ooh yeah. The beginning of this book, there's a whole section about like cocktails are a science. You have got to get the measurements exactly right. It could be too tart or too strong. And that way it's ruined your cocktail experience. I don't give a f This tastes good, so I put it in the freaking glass, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, four ounces of cola. Hey, idiot, fool, bastard. Can we bring back calling people bastards? Like, yeah, he's a real bastard, but I'm saying it. It's not like middle-aged white men saying it to each other. I'm calling people a bastard. A Pepsi. Don't tell my dad. Yeah, I have a Coke tattoo. I love Coke, but Pepsi, it's a little sweeter. And when I need that little sweet kit, I'm gonna get a little mini Pepsi, okay? Now, of course, we're missing. Oh, I can add oat milk. I love that. I love Let's add some of this. This is gonna give me diarrhea. One, two. Now, let's give it a mixy mix. I, these glasses are so, when you stir, it makes a good, like, noise. Mm. It 
cocktail cherry. I can eat these by the gallon, bitch. Oh my God. Ew, what's that? Hold up. Here we have the finished product. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's give it a taste test. To the motherland Italia and to um, the Prohibition era. Long may it be at rest. Yeah, of course that's delicious. That's a root beer float. Oh my God, that'll do it every time. That literally, that's just Pepsi and milk. <laughs> so gross. Going up to the bar as a full grown woman. You guys got any Pepsi and oat milk? What? Do you want like liquor in that? Delicious. I give the paralyzer an eight out of 10. Let's move on. Also, if you guys remember, I've done one of these before where I did, I made celebrities favorite cocktails. Cause the next one is a Greyhound salty dog. I've already made a salty dog. That's Josh Kiska from Greta Van Fleet's favorite cocktail. Okay, so go check that out. Now this one, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, wait, let me chug this. As I chug this, let's read some, let's read some mobster trivia, team. I'm a barkeep. You know what I want to buy for myself? One of those, uh, the black bar mats, when you spill something and it goes in it, and then at the end of the night, you take a shot of it. <laughs> and you know how at the end of the night, you drink everything in the, in the bar mat? Mm, a smoothie, a cocktail. Okay, five second chug. Sometimes I get excited when I do a five second chug and I don't chug it, I just put it on my mouth and it's gross and I can't swallow it. Okay, get into this. History lesson, Stanley, put some American Italian music over this. The text of the 18th amendment reads as follows. The manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors within is hereby prohibited. Damn. The Congress and the <laughs> reading US history, damn. <laughs> That, wait, that's tea. <laughs> I could literally sit here, I'm gonna read this tonight. I'm gonna sit by the fire as the rain is pouring with my milk, <laughs> my Pepsi, with my milk and my vodka. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <sighs> let's make the gangster martini. Are you guys so excited? Are you guys having fun? Guys, are you having fun? Insecure YouTuber. Wait, guys, you didn't like me. Gangster Martini. One and a half ounces pineapple juice. One ounce twaka. One ounce amaretto. One ounce of vodka and some cocktail cherries. Fill the tin side of a Boston shaker with ice. E doink. Okay, pineapple juice. One and a half ounces. Bad idea to start with the milk. Incredibly awful idea. I love pineapple juice. If you're ever unsure of what to order at the bar, if you're like freshly 21, get a pineapple vodka, okay? Now, will you have a hangover? Maybe, yes. But it's so good, I can suck 40 of them bitches down. That tastes like childhood. One ounce of fuck. The way that I don't need all of this. What, this is as big as my head. I'm nervous. We're feeling really Italian here. This is, I will admit, this is part of the gender gap, okay? Why can boys make really good machine gun sounds? Boys can beatbox really well. They can make really good gun sounds, explosion sounds. I want to do that. I want to make really convincing, like my brother, Jet is so good at imitating sounds. I want to do that, whatever. Amaretto, this is a beautiful bottle. This flower on top. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, capture the romance of the Italian countryside. Guys, don't mind if I do. One ounce of vodka. This is my favorite ball. She wins. Were there Russian mobsters? This is about to be strong as shit. Okay, shake until the ice sounds different. <laughs> shake until the ice starts acting different. Ow! Let's go! Ew, why is it that color? All right, we got a little foam layer on top. That's kind of cute. All right, cheers. This one's going out to feeling like a gangsta. Make a gangsta martini. However, have as many cherries as you like. After all, you're a gangsta. Whoever wrote this sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait, do I look like a mob boss? Be honest. Oh, that's delicious. Wait, that's kind of slim. Okay, I need to, I need a water. We're gonna chug a Reno and chug a Rini. It's good, it's just a lot. Ugh. 
That is a beautiful cocktail. I mean, like truly wow. And I'll be honest, hey, my gut's starting to hurt. Okay, can you blame me? And I'm the villain? Now is the time where, Stanley, I'm gonna ask you to put that tweet on the screen. Stop joking about the mafia. They can kill you. And then someone replied to the tweet and said, I cook it a pizza. <laughs> Okay. Let's go next. If you guys like gin, you're sick in the f***ing head. This one goes by many names. Screwdriver, Harvey Wallbanger, and a jackhammer. Okay. Fill a highball glass with ice. Add vodka and then orange juice. I mean, it's hard to f*** this one up, you know? One and a half ounces of vodka. Hey, let's go for two. I feel it. I'm gonna regret that. I have to leave for this party and leave. 30 minutes. <laughs> have seven shots of liquor in my stomach. Yuck yay, six ounces of orange juice. You wanna combat scurvy? This is gonna give me diarrhea. Now, that looks delicious. That's just a glass of orange juice. Cheers. Cheers to actually my gut doctor who told me nothing was wrong with me. You're a cheat and a liar. Yum. This? That's a golden combo right there, okay? And this isn't that bad either. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna chug these and then we'll come back. Unfortunately, my friend was broski. Scheduled day with the fishes. So I've taken the liberty of commandeering the channel, showing you my favorite drink. There are things to be learned about messing with the organization. With that familia. There's certain things you just don't do. And uh, Ms. Broski learned the hard way. That tweet was never funny. And it never will be funny. So now, let's get on with the show. Let's get the show on the road. That's show business. We don't need a recipe. This has been in my family for generations. I'm fucking drooling. First, I'm just gonna consult. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette outside really quick. Definitely not look at the recipe book. And my friends, this is what we call, where I'm from, a gimlet. This is gonna be a, a favorite of the Prohibition era, where I'm from. Pardon me, my, my henchman did not provide me supplies. I sound like JFK. To begin, this age old classic recipe. One and a half ounces of the sweetest, best vodka you can find this side of the Mississippi. We're gonna hit it with one and a half. Make a little mess. Life gets messy. One and a half ounces of vodka. I don't venture much into the kitchen. It's women's work. I like to stand outside, have a cigarette, fire a weapon. Next, we're gonna hit it with half of an ounce of Rose's sweet lime juice. Rose is a dear friend of the family. I'm gonna give this good old Manhattan shake. <laughs> shake into perfection. Hold on. Now once, once the gimlet is gimlot to perfection, gross. you're gonna give it a nice swirl, and into the cup we go. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, friends and foes, that's gonna be a gimlet. Cheers to the long prosperity of the Broski clan. Sorry about your leader. Cheers. That is delicious, every time. Lady Broski was a dear friend of ours. It's a shame what happened to her. Now, before I leave you, I would like to impart some lasting words of wisdom. Never, ever forget that tomorrow is a yesterday's today. That is absolutely the most important thing I could have told you right now. God first, family second, and you take care of what needs to be taken care of. Saludos to you and yours on this beautiful March afternoon. God bless you. Till next time. Fucking gross. Marshmallows with vodka.